somebody about to pull out a gun and hit somebody. He said, ho, ho, come forth. Where is he telling us to come from though, Reed? And flee from the land of the north. And free from the land of what? The north. The north. Hey, bro, how you doing, bro? You got three minutes, bro. You know what the, the, the scriptures were referring to when they say the north? See, this is another thing. This is another problem with our people, man. This is why God said two thirds is gonna perish. That's right. Get Zechariah 7 and 11. I'm gonna show you, man. God got you so called blessed Hispanics and Native Americans figured out, man. He knows exactly what you're gonna do before you do it, and he know why you're gonna do it. Why? Because it's self hatred, man. Right. You got black men wasting times out their days coming out here while y'all in the midst of all this idolatry, trying to show y'all the way, warn y'all of the things to come. But what do y'all wanna do? Oh, I'm too busy. Oh, I want. I don't wanna hear it. Oh, I know it already, King. But keep talking. Read what you got, King. Zechariah 7 and 11. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 7, verse 11. Uh -huh. But they refused to hearken. They did what? They refused, they refused to hearken. Uh huh. And pulled away their shoulder. And pulled away what? Their they shoulder. So every time we tell them, bro, hey, brother, come hear the word of the Lord. Like, watch this right here. Hey, brothers, how y'all doing, man? Y'all got a couple minutes to hear the word of the Lord and trust the brothers. Y'all got a couple minutes for us, man. Just to talk, man. Discuss what the better community. You gotta go that way. Read that verse again, kid. Verse 11. Hey, true book, man. Hey, little bro, how you doing, bro? You got a couple minutes for the word? Read. But they refused to hearken. They did what? Refused, refused to hearken. hearken. Uh-huh. And pulled away their shoulder. Uh-huh. And stopped their ears. And the blacks in America, Lord, to stop their ears from hearing the word of God. That's right. And we was out here debating about the uh, NBA season as it come. We was out here rapping about, I wonder if the Titans gonna win the Super Bowl. We have a whole crowd out here with everybody having something to say. Right. But we coming out here telling y'all today that America's on the verge of destruction. The Most High is on the verge of coming back and having his son redeem his children. And what are our people doing? They walking by, man, they dressing all out of order. 
what are the men doing? They ignoring their brother, but soon when us get down, gun down, what they want to scream? Oh, Black Lives Matter. That's right. It's time for us to come back together. Man, the prophets don't want to hear that no more, man. That's right. We coming out here to warn you. If you that's don't right. want to save your life, that's on you. Jeremiah 48 and 16. Whoever got that Jeremiah 48 and 16, about to shot. Bring it out. Yeah, man, the end of America is here, man. And whoever want to be saved, I compel you to come over and converse with your brother and make me prove what I'm saying. Huh? Don't just have me out here standing looking crazy. Oh, this guy thinks the world's going to come to an end. No, let's talk about it and see if the guy said what's true. Read. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 48, verse 6. Read it to Flee. Save your lives. Say what? Flee. Save, Save your lives. lives. So the Lord is telling you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Flee from the ways of America. That's right. Flee the, flee the beast thing. That's right. Flee uh, idolatry. Flee homosexuality. Come That's back right. to the Lord. Be separate. Read. And be like the heath in the wilderness. And be like the what? Heath in, in the, the wilderness. wilderness. Read. For, for because they have trusted in thy works and in thy treasures, uh -huh. that shall also be taken. And Shema shall co go forth into captivity. Right. With, Oh, that's it on there, King. So the Lord says it's time for us to flee and save our lives. Hey, sister, how you doing? So you got a minute for the word. See, this is what our people got time for. They got time no, for being no, 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 no. They down there 35 years old, dressing like animated characters, paying $200, coming out here to go across the street and give the white man their money to go into more idolatry. Right. Right. Somebody give me a please ask these 729, man. This is a damn shame, man. It's grown women and men out here with costumes on like it's Halloween, celebrating what? Dragon Con for the number of filthy Edomites, man. Read right. right. This is with the Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29. Read out. Lo, this only have I found. Nah, read. That God have made man upright. God made man what? God I made man upright. upright. So the Most High have intentionally in the, the beginning made us upright, meaning what? We had morals, values, and standards for ourselves. That's we right. actually stood for something. That's not right. childish games, not science fairy tales. But now what do we see the so-called black men doing? At one point on these same streets, y'all were getting sold into slavery. Right. At one point on these same streets, y'all were fighting for equality. Now what are y'all doing on these same streets? Y'all running up and down the street at 40, 48 years old, 45 years old with beer in your hand, with a costume all talking about some, I want to go have some science fictional fun. My people gone off, man. Finish that out, King. That's right. But Give they me. have so out many inventions. All right, read what you got, King. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 9. Read For them, the bodies of grasshoppers. Hey, big bro, how you doing, big brother? All right, all right, that's a, that's a good thing. I'll praise you. Bless. I got a quick question for you, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. just a question based on our people. Right? Come on, come on. So in America in 2021, you too. do you feel like this country has the means to restore itself back to normal? And when I say normal, meaning a place of peace, where there's no violence at all sides for our people. Built on blood. So this country is built on blood, right? So you feel like this country is finished, right? The Lord can't finish for you built on blood. So if it's built on blood, how can it be clean? I mean, we gotta be with God and we gotta take care of our own. So I'm saying, but if this land, so you say this land is full of blood, right? All right, give me Nahal 3 and 1 real quick. I wanna show you that the Lord say the same thing, and then give me that where we just left off from, 
where it said the land can't be clean unless, you know, you know what I want. Read what you got, Ken. To the book of Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1. Look it out. Woe to the bloody city! What the Lord say? Woe, woe to, to the, the bloody, bloody city. city! So another word for woe is destruction. So the Lord says destruction, destruction to the bloody city. And we gonna try to see can we pinpoint based off facts what me and you know both know our history, which is the bloody city, Reed. It is full of lies. It is what? It, it is, is full, full of lies. So America is full of lies. I'm gonna give you a couple of lies that America is full of. For one, this country name in itself is a lie. Read. Because gay wanna know why? Read what you got again. Read from the top. Woe to the bloody city. So God said, woe to the bloody city or woe to the bloody country because why? When the so-called conquistadors came over here, how y'all sister doing? Y'all got time to hear about our knowledge? Now nah, history. Y'all got you standing here now, sir. I got my family waiting for you guys. I gotta right, go. Hey, hey, check it out, man. Check hey, you should have brought him over and heard the word, man. Read what you got again, King. It's the book of Nahum, chapter three, verse one. You know, woe to the bloody city. So the most I said, woe to the bloody city, man. Why? This is the city where our ancestor was raped, robbed, and murdered. That's right. Killings had their lands taken from them. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Got lands pushed off from treaties was broken. Read. It is full of lies. And this country is full of lies. What lies were mainly told here? How many priest treaties did the so-called white man break with the Indians? Hey, brother, would you be a good man to admit that America broke a lot of treaties with the so-called Native Americans? And that's why they go, hey, big brother. Hey, big brother. Hey, I got a quick question. Ask a question for the Lord, man. All right, so it says full of lies. What other lies that they told us? They told us that they are the children of God. That's right. They are, we are nothing. We are the Gentiles. They are the chosen people of God. We have found that also that that is a lie. That's right. How you doing, sister? You got a couple minutes to hear the word of God talks about our people's condition? One minute, sister. You love the Lord, right? One minute. It don't take number one minute to see if we love the Lord or not, right? All right, don't worry about it. Read what you got. Where's, I mean, Second Ezra 16. Give me second Ezra 16 and verse 8. This is why these things are going on in the world today, man. Don't nobody want to hear the Bible. Everybody, oh, I'm just going right here, bro. I'll be right back. But when the Yahweh Shai come back and the terrorists get lifted up and you see the saints delivered, it ain't gonna be nowhere for you to go there. That's right. That's right. Hey, how you doing, bro? You got a minute for the word and discuss our history. Oh, yeah, praise. that's what I'm oh, talking praise. about. Get a brother a hand, bro. Up, up it up. Out of 200 people, only one brother got the man and missing it because it's less population. All right, bro. So if I can ask you a question, what would you say your nationality is? You looked at this sign, Benjamin. So West Indian, right? All prayer to the Most High, man. We had mighty men come out the tribe of Benjamin, man. You know, the first king of Israel actually, you know what I'm saying, officially was from the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. You know what I'm saying? His name was Saul, right? So you would be from the tribe of Benjamin. So why do you feel like we be taught that we are Jamaicans today in America? No. Transatlantic, transatlantic, slave. transatlantic slave trade, right? So you got to familiar with the transatlantic slave trade. Do you understand why it was us as a particular people who went into slavery? Ah, right, so you already know these things, so you know you were Israelite. All right, so what's holding you back from warning your people of the things to come? I do that at work. Ah, uh, you do it at work? Yeah. Oh, I see your ZZ. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. I see you, brother. I got you, bro. I see you, bro. All right. Well, this is what we need out here. Watch me for Israel. you some laws concerning the nation of Israel that the Most High wants us to have. All right, read what you got. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and say unto them read. concerning the feast days of the Lord, uh -huh. which they shall proclaim to be a holy convocation. So we're about to go into the days that the Most High consider a holy convocation. Do you know what the word convocation means? Gathering, right? All right, read what you got. Even these are my feasts, 
Three. Six days shall work be done. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest Three. and holy convocation. Three. They shall do no work therein. Three. It is the Sabbath of the Lord and all your dwellings. So the, on the Sabbath day, which is today, we're supposed to congregate, King. So we need you out here with us. Get uh, a sign around for 36 and a I'm going to show you something else. Let us consider one another. So it's time for us to consider one another, King. I have to consider you. You have to consider me. But the only way we can see is consider one another if we come around one another, get to know one another. That's right. You get to know what I'm battling. I get to understand what you're battling so we can help each other overcome those things, right? Read. To provoke. Uh huh. And to love. So we're supposed to be provoking each other unto love. Do you know what love is according to the scriptures? Keeping the laws, right? So we're supposed to be provoking each other to keep the law to the best of our abilities. So if I battle smoking, and you know I battle smoking, how can you provoke me to love by checking up on me? Hey, bro, you been smoking them cigarettes? You been hitting them blunt? Ah, uh, no. I gave it up. All right, come, come. All right, read. And to good works. Read. Not forsaking the. The assembling of ourselves together. So we're not supposed to forsake the assembly ourselves together, which you understand, which I'm proud of. But now, you know what I'm saying? We got Israelites all up and down this street down here in downtown Atlanta, man. That's right. So, hey, if you want to come out here and fellowship with us and the brethren and do the work, bro, we be out here every Saturday at 3 o'clock and Friday. Little Five Points. And Little Five Points. Every Friday and Sunday, we out there, man. So you more than happy to come congregate with us. We got brothers out here. Hockey, you can get their number. It's whatever you want to do, King. All right, sure. Come on. Hey, I'll praise you, King. I'll praise you. Go back to what you got in the uh, second years of 16 and 8. And the Lord's going to store all this. Yeah, King. This is the book of 2nd Edges, chapter 16, verse 8. Read it, the, the mighty Lord sendeth the plague. The mighty Lord do what? Sendeth the plague. Uh huh. And who is he that can drive them away? So it's the Lord that's sending these plagues to America in the last days, man. Right, that's right. It's not your so called white man, man. It's the most high God sending these plagues. That's right. You got fires in California. You got fires in Italy. Hey, I got a question for y'all, man. Just an honest question, no disrespect. Would you say the fires that are going on throughout the world, like in Britain, in California, would you think that these fires that can't be put out are man-made, or do you think they come from the Lord? That's why they gotta get put to self, man. They put everything in they self. They feel like they do everything in they self. Read what you got. Verse nine. A fire shall go forth from his wrath. A what? A, a fire, fire shall go forth, forth from his wrath. Right, I guess it's Esau right here. Read that again. A, a fire, fire shall, shall go, go forth, forth from his wrath. So it's a fire going forth from the Most High's wrath, man. Read. And who is he that may quench it? And who is he that may quench it? If Esau is the so-called one that started this fire, why can't he put it out? He gonna let half his earth that he's running and make money out for right now. Hey, bro, how you doing, bro? You got to come do this for the world, bro? That's another thing, bro. That's why another way that the Lord wants to send the fire. That's what they're going to do, man. All right, keep reading on that. Verse 10. These shall cast lightning, and who shall not fear? So guess what we've been seeing? Big lightning come forth out the earth. We saw the Lord strike down one of Esau's monuments. Read. He shall thunder. And who shall not be afraid? We've been, we've been getting a lot more thundering lately on the earth. Guess what? Everybody want to take pictures of it and oh, we're having a climate change. We're having a climate war in America. A lot of you ignorant Negroes are paying taxes on climate. Like, who are we to be paying taxes on the right? How you know we destroy it, man? That's right. All right, read what you got. The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten? And the Lord is threatening who's not going to be beat, meaning what? When the Lord say you are finished, who is he that can keep you from being destroyed? The Lord said that Esau is going to be destroyed in the brink of one hour. Who are we to say that that's not true? That's right. How y'all beautiful families doing? Can I ask y'all one beautiful question? Y'all got time for the Lord? Can I ask y'all one quick question? Y'all ain't got one quick minute, couple minutes for the Lord just to answer a couple questions. I apologize, bro. We gotta pick something up. All right, it's all good, man. Hey, we all got somewhere to go soon, man. That's right. All right. All right. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 19, verse 14, man. Yo. Because our people living like this, because why? They only doing what Master taught them to, man. Master perverse, so I'm gonna live my life perverse. All right, read with whoever get it first. Read this. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 19. 
verse 14. Read. Yeah. The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit and the and just in like the midst thereof and just as I know, I read, you read from the top. Come. So Come. this is the reason why we see everybody walking down this street with outrageous apparel on today, man. Because why? The Lord said he was gonna mingle up a perverse spirit here in America, man. Well what? Everything that's sick, that's perverse. We was gonna think it's cool to do here in America. That's right. We was gonna find love and joy in it. Oh, we got Dragon Con today. Oh, I gotta be there. I'm 500 pounds, but I'm gonna make sure I put on a pumpkin suit. My little helmet, I'm gonna feel special today. All right, keep reading on that, Kings. Read that. This is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 14. Bring it out. The Lord have mingled and perverse spirit and the midst thereof. So the reason why we see LGBT at a high rate Man, rappers scared to speak against homosexuality. They scared to speak against the vaccine because why? The Lord said he put a perverse spirit in this nation, man. That's Read. right. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. And guess what? America is going off in every work that it's doing. That's right. They get the goddamn politician system going down. That's right. Everybody mad at Biden now. He just went and got the army put to death. Some of the members out the army. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? Guess what other evil works they working now? They are ordaining transgender pastors to baptize and heal and give you the word of God. But we know that's where y'all gonna go because y'all ain't got time to be out here and talk to us today. All right, read what you got on that. As a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Guess what? The same way a staggering man who's drunk Throwing up and don't got no control of himself. That's the same way things are in America, man. It's shootings going on everywhere. There ain't no control in no city. Guess what? A black man get gunned down, the whole street gets gunned down. I mean, the whole street gets shut down. Y'all and what happened? Now we busting windows out the streets. We running in there going to steal us some J's. But what? The Lord said we're supposed to be gathering together, man. That's right. Man. Get the rock, man. 36 and 11, man. How you doing, sister? I'm glad you're standing right behind me to see you. If I got a question for you. If I was to ask you what your nationality was, what would you tell me, sister? Based off this sign. I got you, kid. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I don't blame you. Mm -hmm. Y'all, so you don't, you don't blame a nationality? A nationality? Yeah, so a nationality. Another word for nationality is race. So on this sign right here, you see we have races. On this side is what God named these certain group of people. And on this side through slavery is what the so-called white man or their oppressors or their slavery or captors named them. So if you see your ancestors on this side anywhere based off of history or the land mass that you were born in, which one would you pick? So Judah, right? Um. All right, all praise. So all praise. Who says she Judah? So what if I told you the reason why, or let me ask you this. So if you would say Judah, why is it, if we are saying we God chose the people today, why is it that you think we don't know that or claim that or aspire to be more like the so-called Judahs in the Bible? You don't have no answer. I ain't no wrong with that. All right, give me, uh, you know what I want. I'm going to get that Jeremiah 17 and 4, Isaiah 1 and 3. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. What's up, no. man, sister? Sister Queasy. All right, sister Queasy. I'm Eli. All right, read what you got. And just, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So, sister Queasy, the Lord said that the Israelites were going to discontinue from their heritage that they gave him. So they, the Lord gave the Israelites the nationality, which is the sons of Israel, which was called from Jacob. And he also gave them a heritage. Do you know what the word heritage means by chance? So the word heritage like a lineage or some passed down, right? So he gave the Israelites a land. He also gave them law, statutes, and commandments that they should keep, right? All right, so now go back to Jeremiah 17 and 4 and read it again. Come. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. So the Lord said the Israelites were going to discontinue from their heritage, meaning what? They were going to stop being Israelites. They were going to stop following the customs that they grew up to. And the way that the love that they once had for one another, it was going to not be there no more. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemy. And the Lord said in the process of destroying you or taking you away from your heritage, I was going to make you serve your enemy. 
So based on history and time, do you know about a time in history where there was any race of people who were just chilling on this certain land mass and they got snatched up, some of them got killed, they got threw on boats, one no matter if they were pregnant, women was on their menstrual, you know what I'm saying? The man could have just got his arm chopped off Bring it on. and I got through clean on the boat. Is there a people who got snatched away from their heritage or AKA homeland and had to serve their enemies? Who would those people be today that you identify with? Us, right? That's right. So what is the Bible saying that we was going, it was prophesied years ago that we were going to lose our history. That's right. We was going to lose our nationality. We was going to be removed from our land and we were going to have to serve our enemies. All right, watch this. Give me Matthew 5 and 14. Yeah, I like it. Oh, what you got? Let's see what you got. Matthew 5 and 14. You can let that go. Right, yo, give me that two more minutes, sis. That two more in. I, I just want to let you hear something. Matthew 5 and 14. You give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. All right, read what you got, King. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 14. All right, check this out, sis. Ye are the light of the world. Read. A city that is set on a hill. So the Lord said, we are the light of the world. So when the Israelites, yeah, that's how they are today, sister. That's why we out here. All right, watch this, sister. Watch this, sister, please. Read what you got again from the top. Watch, I want to show you why they like that. Watch this, read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 14. Read. Ye are the light of the world. So the Lord said, we are the light of the world. When we understand we the Israelites, we are the light, meaning what? We stand out. Read, watch this. A city that is set on a hill. We are a city set on a hill, meaning what? We stand high above all nations when we come together and fall out to the most high, all right? Read. That's right. Cannot be hid. Read. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. Come on, read fast. But on, like but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all the, that are in the house. All right, so jump up to verse 13. I'm going to say you something else. What is salt good for? When you cooking, if I walk in your house and say, I got some chicken, I took good hard time and cooked this chicken on the grill. When I come in there, you're going to be able to tell if I put some seasoning or some salt on that chicken, right? So watch this. I'm going to give you an analogy, then I'm going to let you go. I want to give you an analogy of what the Lord said you are compared to him when it comes to salt. Read verse 13. Verse 13. Uh -huh. Ye are the salt of the earth. So the Lord said we are the salt of the earth. So when we keep his commandments, Sister Queens, we give the earth salt, meaning we give the earth flavor, read. But if the salt have lost its savor. But if we lose our savor or we lose our nationality, we lose our heritage, read. Where is shall it be salted? Where is shall it be salted? It's good for nothing now, meaning what? You see unprofitable children coming out of our lineage now. Gang members, prostitutes, whoremongers, you know what I'm saying, idolatrous, read. It is still forth, good for nothing. And God said it's good for nothing now. So without us knowing our nationality, Sister Queasy, it's good. It, we don't profit nothing in this world. That's right. The only thing we good for is filing, filling, filling up the penitentiaries, filling up the abortion clinics and all that. So, hey, hey, check this information out, sister. All right? Yeah. Hey, Quante, Quante, Quante. Yeah, man, hey. Hey, y'all the Spanish? Hey, we are the Israelites according to the Bible, man. Y'all God's chosen people. We lost our nationality. We lost our heritage. We lost our original land because we didn't keep the commandments of God. Right. It's time for us to come back to the Most High laws and keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. The reason why we discovered this land is through y'all people. God. All right, hey, man. Likewise, King. Hey, right, give me Sirach 36 and 11, bro. That's what it's all about right there, man. The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom coming back together, man. Oh. Meanwhile, we still gonna have Wicked Jays walking past looking at us like we stupid, but we don't give a damn. Man. That's right! We come out here to sell the elect, and when the news pop out, then, hey, then we gonna look at time when y'all scream and call for our name, we gonna walk off and say, I'm busy. That's right. Where you with that when you get it, King? This is the book of Sirach. Chapter 36, verse 11. Uh-huh. Gather all the tribes of Jacob. What the Lord say? Gather, gather all the tribes of Jacob. What the Lord say? Gather, gather, gather all the tribes of Jacob. Jacob. No, gather everybody on the world together. Gather, gather all, all the, the tribes, tribes of Jacob. Jacob. So we come out here to gather all the tribes of Jacob. That's right. Hey, young brother, how you doing, bro? Come out let us, man. Hey, come out here, come out here. You got a couple, hey, if I was, what's your name, bro? Man? Alex. All right, so if I was to ask you at your nationality, Alex, what would you tell me? African-American. African-American, right? So on this side right here, 
What is it the pick of the real name of the uh, so-called African Americans? What God called them? Judah, right? So all right, bro. So if I'm telling you from the tribe of Judah, you would like to me produce their cows, right? And show you how I know that and why you're not being called there today, right? So let's go back to where we went from. Let's go to Jeremiah 17 and 4. Get Hebrews 7 and 14. And we're gonna go and make it plain for you real quick, bro. Give us a couple of minutes. And you're gonna receive the best information that you can ever hear in your life out here right now, bro. That's right, man. Could you I'm gonna ask you this real quick. Can you tell, do you feel like the world is getting better? Or can I'm gonna ask you this in this way. Do you feel like the world can get better? Or are you do are you feel like we doing for destruction right now based on the way America going? So you feel like it can get better? What would you feel like needs to change for this country to get better? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna break it down real quick, man. We're gonna make it plain and short. Read oh, no. Just the book of Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Read oh. it. And thou, shaving thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So the Lord said we were gonna do what? Discontinue Continue from, from thine heritage. heritage. So the Lord said we were gonna discontinue from our heritage, King. Right. So let me see if we got it right here. Bear with me. No, we don't. It's all good. So you say you were African American, right? So look at this right here. We got America best future. That was the so-called white man who came over here and discovered other parts of this land, which they call America today. And he had it named after himself. And you have Scipio Africanus. Do you know why they call Africa Africa? Because a so-called white man who was going to war with a black man named Hannibal, he got the upper hand on Hannibal and they defeated the land of Carthage. And from that, they remember him now by naming that whole land mass Africa. So right. now that's why you call yourself African American. Get Psalms 49 and 11 real quick. Dude. And this is what they did. God going to show you in the Bible, prophetic, how the other nations look at stuff. When they, you know, like say if I come in your house, right? And your house is the house of bro, your name, right? And I come in there and kill you all. I wipe every male out your house and leave the females. And now I'm starting producing your house. Do you know what I'm going to do? Do you think I'll keep your last name on the wall in there? No. I'm going to come in there and rename some stuff, right? Change a couple colors up. Change the vibe, right? I read what you got, King. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Bring it up. Their end one thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Their house is what? Read it again. It's like their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. So their inward thought is, man, hey, America don't last forever, man. God bless America. Can't no nation go against America. All right. right. Read what you got. And their dwelling places to all generations. Uh huh. They they call their lands after their own names. So the Lord said that the heathen called their lands after their own names. That's right. That's why we got African American. Yeah, we got social media. Give him a call. I got you. My phone that I have to be my president. All right, man, check us out, man. I got y'all, bro. Y'all boy be easy. All right, man. Hey, what's up, man? You all right, bro? You, you see you see yourself on this sign right over here? I'm the white guy, yo. You're the white guy, right? Woo! Hey, brother, how you doing, bro? You got to Let me ask you one quick question, bitch, yo. Hey, one quick question. Hold on, bro. Stand down, bro. If I was to ask you your nationality, what would you tell me? Your nationality, bro. Free as a people. I feel like 
I feel like that black people aren't free because we use a lot. We got victim mindset. So a lot of so we free through victim mindset. A lot. Of, I mean, it's fucked up because it's like it's, it's been conditioned. It's, still, it's, it's been conditioned to uh, systemic racism. But with that being said, even with those conditions, you can't take those conditions and just continue to apply it to your life. This happened. This this and there. And I call that a victim mindset. And it's fucked up. I see what you're saying. That's a read what you're saying. I'm going to show you. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. So the Bible said literally, we are yet this day in slavery still. Even though they released us from physical bondage, no one can pay for it. We are still literally in slavery. But guess what? You know what I really believe? What? I feel like, yeah, we are enslaved to this simulation. I feel like that. No matter how hard I try, I can't escape this. You gotta watch this movie called, um, it's called Free Guy. This shit gonna have you do that. I've been seeing a lot of shit. It'd be like, uh, it'd be too coincidental. Yeah, and I saw I can be like, yeah, good. So, man, right. You wanna know why though? Because you haven't opened your mindset to, oh, you gotta realize something. Yeah. When you have been taught something from a child up, yeah. look at the world a certain way, and then you get older and get hit to it on this level, yeah. you have to realize that everything that we was taught, now you're going to slowly question it. You're not going to question it at the same time, yeah. but it's going to be different aspects that need you to question certain things. Yeah. Finish this. All right, y'all get the card, too. You got another card, but hey, man, hey, you got a couple minutes to hit this, finish this off real quick. This, 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 this last one. This is last Where one. Where thou hast scattered us. So he said, we read it from the top. Come on. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Oh, read. Where thou hast scattered us. So the Lord said, if you are in a land where you are carried captive as slaves and you still dwell there, whether we like it or not, we are still captives or slaves of that land. That's right. All right. Read what you got. For a... Watch for a... Part. Reproach. For reproach meaning what? Meaning every in this same city we were slaves at, we get chastised, we get oppressed, we get afflicted. Why? Because this is the land of our captivity. But why did that happen, Reed? And a curse and to be subject to payments. And are we subject to payments? Do you pay taxes? So guess what, Ken? You're not free. That's if right. you're paying another race of people taxes, you're not free. So what we're trying to tell you, it behooves you to come hear this stuff, man. We ain't know. Only thing we out here doing is warning our people that death and destruction is coming to America, man. That's right. The prophecies that was in this Bible foretold 2,000 years ago, they're coming back on the earth today being fulfilled. That's right. Just like us coming out here telling you these things, it was prophesied thousands of years ago that this was going to be fulfilled. But are we going to keep living in the ways of America? Or are we gonna come out of it? Get Jeremiah 486 real quick. Because you have to realize something. There is a black man who looked like you, and I know you might look at it like I'm crazy, but I'm being serious. The same way he was prophesied that we was gonna go into slavery on slaves, that we would never return to our homeland again. There is the same, in this same book, it's saying we're gonna be delivered from this land and brought back to our homeland by a black man. But what must we do? We gotta come back to who we are and keep the commandments. Read that right. and I'm gonna let you go. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 48, verse 6. Three. Flee, save your lives. So the Bible says flee, meaning what? Flee the ways of America, save your lives, meaning what? Keep the commandments of the Most High God, come back to your nationality. Okay? That's, That's right. right. And that's how you will be free, man. That's right. That's right. All right, man. Hey, that that, we'll be out here, big dog. Hey, big bro, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, come on, let me, big dog. What's your name, bro? What's your name? Todd. Todd, I'm Eli, bro. All right, nice to meet you, King. All right, so what we are doing, man, we just are teaching our people why we went through this, why we don't understand our nationality, and what can we do to get back to peace in the world for our people, okay. all right? So what would you say your nationality is? I don't know. So you don't know. Get yeah, Isaiah 1 and 3. Brother, you know how to, brother, the last 30 minutes, you the fifth black man who came up here and said he really don't know our true nationality. And like, I'm not depicting you for it, but I'm angry because it shows you that these people have really did a real wonder on us and went to war and it killed us off many knowledgeable into what way. We don't even know who we are. We don't consider it because why? I ain't know who I was this far. Why I gotta go find out now? 
And that's the mindset a lot of our people got. Read what you got, This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Read. The ox dog is older. Uh -huh. And just air like the ass is now uh -huh. real. Uh-huh. But Israel does not know. So God said the way an ox knows this owner and the ass his master's crib. These are two dumb animals. He said they know what their master's crib is and they know who their master is. But he said, but who don't know? But Israel does not know. So all the people who make up the 12 tribes of Israel, your so-called African-Americans, your so-called Jamaicans, your Haitians, your Puerto Ricans, the Caribbeans on down. All these people who speak a language that was not their home national Why we don't consider? Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. The Bible or Peter, we go back to the same place So why? We can't open back the truth. We don't know who we are because of our sin against the Most High. But we're going to take it there if you just pray with me a little bit. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Bring it out! It's thou, even thyself, shall so this continue now from thy inheritance. Read. Really? So he said, I'm not to my bad. So the Lord said, and thou, even thyself was going to discontinue from your heritage. Do you know what the word heritage means? All right. So we're going to show you what heritage is according to the Bible with scripture. I guess All it right. mean like your inheritance. Your inheritance. So right, that's, a good, that's a good answer, bro. So what I'm going to show you is, do you, are you familiar with the Israelites a little bit? Yeah. So I think, what did the Lord inherit them? Do you, are you familiar with what he gave them as an inheritance? If you're not, it's cool, I'll get it for you. A land, right, the land of Israel, and they gave them something else. Get Cyrax, all right, big king, sir. This is Cyrax chapter 17, verse 11. Read be, Besides this, he gave them knowledge. He gave us knowledge. So, King, the reason why you knowledgeable, and I can tell you got a sense of intelligence on you. By the way, you know a smart man, when you see one, if you got somebody telling you something, putting knowledge in your ear, you know how most people are like, yeah, I hear you, bro. But a real knowledgeable man won't let nobody sit there and just say something to him. You know what I'm saying? You go, I can see it in your eyes. You focused. You hearing what I'm saying. So if you can hear something that's off, you'll catch it. But if you just listening to me a little bit, you're like, yeah, yeah. I can sit here and tell you today that the world is going to, you see how they are? The world going to end in three days. And guess what? You'll be like, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. But now the Lord said it ain't so. So read that again. Aaron, the law of life. For inheritance. So the Lord gave the Israelites laws for inheritance. Let's go Sirach 17 and 11. And this is in the so-called Apocrypha. And the Apocrypha, another meaning for the Apocrypha meaning hidden books. This is what the Protestant church moved from the Bible because they understood it was a crafty council that took place that went into our nationality. But I'm going to go into it because I don't want to say nothing and not put it. But read, finish, let's finish on this. All right, so go back to what you got, Jeremiah 17 and 4. So, so the Lord prophesied that we was going to lose our homeland, and we was going to lose our laws, we were going to lose our language, and basically, who was it going to be a lawless people on the earth, right? All right, so all right, finish it off. Now you got to finish it off. And I, will, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So guess what? It's not a coincidence that the Lord said when the Israelites lose their heritage, that right during that time, they was gonna have to serve their enemies. That's right. And this is what he was so fulfilling. If you wanna make it plain, give me that in Habakkuk 2 and 2. What you're seeing right now was prophecy written in the Bible, what was gonna happen to the Israelites. And now, 2,000 years later, the Lord made his words come true and he made it plain for us today. So when we walk off and we research our history, we know without a shadow of a doubt, we are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. right. Read what you got, King. This is the book of, this is the book of uh, Beckett, chapter 2, verse 2. Read. Yo. And the Lord answered me and said, Watch this, King. Write the vision. So this was the vision. We was going to discontinue from our heritage. Jeremiah wrote it. Read. And make it plain and he upon the table. And he made it plain upon the table. He said we were going to lose our heritage. And we're gonna have to serve our enemies in the land where we know not, right? Isn't that not plain today in America? Isn't it not obvious? I right, go to Deuteronomy 28. I wanna show you a couple of curses, bro. Because this right here, you know how we call ourselves African Americans, right? I was just showing another brother this. 
And it's funny, bro. The same people, the same people who enslaved us are the same people who got multiple religions that our people are under. They are the same people who taught us language that we speak today. And they also are the same people who so-called got every land in this world right now named after them. Do you, do you know the history behind the name of America and Africa? What about Africa? Yeah. Uh, who was that? Uh, I think it was Italian, maybe. Uh, Scipio Africanus. Yeah, Scipio uh, Africanus. Right, because he defeated Hannibal, right? right just like how, like, uh, I guess when Columbus came over here, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, uh, I think uh, another Italian, Miracle Vespucci, came over here. Right, he came right after him, right? Yeah. And when they came over here, what did they come over here to die? It's a resources. Uh, resources and what? Because I know, especially during, it, when during Columbus, because uh, I know he was petitioning with the, the king and the uh, Queen Ferdinand and, and Isabella to come over here in uh, the search of uh, resources, pretty much. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, why I'm going to show you something. You're absolutely right. So, what this is what they came over. So, I'm going to ask you this. If you got resources I want, let's say your phone, your shoes, let's say something I can't afford and I just want it. If I want your resources, how can I get it? What will I have to require of you? Yo, what? Either, either. Yeah, you're gonna have to get what? Yeah, you can either do it civil or violent or violent. Or violent, it, right? Take it. And then violent, it what comes out of violent? Bloodshed, right? True. Right. So that's what they came with, and that's how they got their land. Read what you got, kid. This is the book of Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1. Read. Yeah. Woe to the bloody city. Why? So the Lord said, Woe to the bloody city, which would be what? America, man. America and Africa. Everywhere the white man set foot at, the Lord said destruction to that place, right? That's right. Read on. It is all full of lies. It's full of lies because why? When Christopher Columbus came over here, he didn't come over here with peace. He didn't come over here with smooth words, That's man. That's right. What did he come over here with? He came over here with anger. He came over here with aggression, meaning why? He knew exactly who he was coming for. He studied it down to the T. And if you actually go into it, you will actually realize that Christopher Columbus only found this land based off of the writings in the Bible from Ezra the prophet. Right. So that's the only reason why he found this land from your forefathers' research. All right, Reed? I'm all right, let me pass out the research. Keep going on. Uh, I'm going to show you something, bro. It's going to get real interesting for you, bro. Reed? And robbery. And what? And robbery. And they came over here and robbed the people of their land. They came over, oh, we come in peace. We know that y'all God. We just want to worship y'all and see how y'all live. We brought blankets, and with those blankets brought what? Sickness and smallpox, seeds and plagues to do what? Weaken the men so they can come through and shed blood, right? right. So they came with lies. And then they came with what they said here? And robbery. And robbery. They robbed us of this land. They robbed us of our land in Israel. That's right. That's why this day and time, if I asked you what was your homeland, what would you tell me? Hey, you get, uh, uh, if we the children of Israel, it'd be Israel. Right. right. So it'd be the land of Israel, right? right? But for us to be in that land, I want to show you something. You get 1 Maccabees 10, 31. You get Galatians 4 and 26. I'm going to show you something. For us, the reason how we know who the real Jews are because based on what the Bible is about to say about the land of Israel, it's on what the land of Jerusalem. So this will also be another fun fact to let you know without a shadow of a doubt that you are indeed the children of Israel and that land was robbed from you, all right? Well, watch this. Yeah, go ahead. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. Read it out. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. Let us not what? Be desirous of vain glory. Jerusalem, which is above all, because guess what? On the map, they got it upside down. They like to have it where, oh, America is at the top, Africa is at the bottom, all the white nations are at the top, and the black nations at the bottom of the map. But God said, what? Above all, all is free. Now nah, read from the top. But Jerusalem, which is above free. Above is free. Sorry, I'll take the time. Read it. Book of Galatians chapter 4 verse 28. Uh, no. 26. 
but Jerusalem, which is above, is free. So God said the land of Jerusalem is free. So for us, if the real Israelites are in the land of Jerusalem, the land will be free. The world will be free from what? Death, sin, wickedness. The land will be in true order. Read what you got, King. Uh -huh. Back to be 10, 31. Uh, this first Maccabee, chapter 10, verse 31. Watch this. Let Jerusalem also be holy and free. Let Jerusalem be what? Let Jerusalem also be holy and free. So, brother, holy is another word for like separate royalty or something real biblical, right? So, in the land of Israel, if the real Jews are over there today, be holy and free if they are hosting LGBT parades in the land. So the land is free if they're able to do that. They hold it. It's not holy, right? So that's letting you know that the real Jews are not over there because if they were, the land would be free. But now, I want to go into some more things proving why we the Israelites and why these things happen while we lost our heritage. Go to the book of Deuteronomy. to the real Israelites. Right. Just like we on our way to Arizona and we never been there, I just can't hop in the car. I'm gonna wake up in Arizona and now what? I have to be guided there. I have to be given signs, meaning what? GPS, Google, go off streets. If I got a map, I gotta get the signs of the street signs guide me to where I gotta be, right? right? So the Lord said when the Israelites start to wonder before they find out who they are, why do I get gunned down in the streets? Why do I not have my own homeland? Why am I the first fire in the last hire? He said we were gonna have signs and wonders to go back and find why the Israelites go to these things. And then in discovering why the Israelites went through that, we'll see that we are those people, read. That's right. And upon thy seed forever. And he said these curses were gonna be upon our seed forever, meaning what? 
in the day 2000, in the year 2021, nothing has changed for the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right. It's the same thing you see today. Right. And I'm going to give you an example. Zechariah 11 and 4. Read what you got, King. Uh -huh. It says the book of Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. Uh -huh. Yea, all Israel have, have uh, just transgressed. Uh, transgressed thy law. So the Lord said, all Israel have transgressed thy law, meaning what? Broke the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Watch this. Read. Come. Keep in mind, departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured That's upon good. us. So he said the curse was poured upon us for our rebellion, right? Watch this. Keep reading. And the oath that is written in the law of, of Moses, the servant of God, God. because we have sinned against him. Read. And so guess what? Read. God. And just and basically he has confirmed his words which he spake uh, against us and against our judges that judged us. And by he confirmed these words. Watch this. God. By bringing upon us a great evil. A what? A, a great, great evil. evil. So the Lord confirmed his words by having to bring on a great evil upon the Israelites, which is what? First. Sub-Saharan slave trade because he said you was gonna discontinue from your heritage. So he had to make it plain and he said you were gonna have to serve your enemies, serve their gods. So what was the first god we got introduced to right after our land being destroyed? Islam, Muslims, through the what? Sub-Saharan slave trade. What the Islam told us what? Ishmael told us y'all can either convert to Islam or die. It's that simple. They rape, rob, and pillage us, and eventually, just like we always do, what happened? You had a couple Negroes give in and say, man, help that. I need to live. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? In this day and time, we had years later down the line. Christianity came over here in what? 1493. Right. Christopher Columbus just didn't come over here with Spain. He came over here with their whole breakdown, with their policies, their religion, and they already knew what was up. And get what they told the Hispanics on this side. Y'all can either bow down to this cross over here to the dollar system or get put to death. Right. So what are you seeing throughout the entire world? The blacks and Hispanics been told to get down and lay down in multiple religions. You're seeing the blacks and Hispanics getting destroyed and rooted out of their lands. That's right. And they have no nationality, right? Read what you got. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 4. Come on. Oh. Thus say the Lord, my God, right? Feed the flock of the slaughter. He said, feed the flock of the slaughter, right? So he said, feed the flock. So it's a flock of people or a nation of people getting slaughtered at a phenomenal rate right now, at an all time high. And I ain't being, I'm just gonna be 100, bro. It don't even take a third grader to see that. If you ask a third grader what people you see die the most, you know what they're gonna say? Black people, daddy. Why would you ask that? It's obvious. Because why? Our people have been taught to think that it's normal for black people to die every single day in life, man. That's right. By police violence, gun violence, drug violence. It don't matter what it is, all right? Read. Whose possessors slay them. Whose what? Whose, Whose possessors slay them. them. So, brother, yo, I take those two scooters and I grab them and I run down the street with them. What did I just do with those uh, scooters? Oh. No, I just took them, right? And they just became my what? Possession. Based on what that scripture said, possession, right? And he said, feed the flock of the slaughter. So there's a flock who's being possessed by a certain people, and this, these people who has reeling over them, their possessors are slaying them. So watch right. this. And hold themselves not, not guilty. guilty. And the possessors hold themselves not guilty. So why? Now, how does this relate back to Deuteronomy 28? Because go back to Deuteronomy 28, 46. So when you see a race of people getting gunned down by the police, police putting their damn knee on their damn neck. You know what I'm saying? Police woman just let a black man this past week die in the backseat of her car. Brother in the damn car like this, eyes rolling, talking about scaring me. I can't breathe, help me. What's she doing? Man, I knew y'all ain't gonna die today. Cause I ain't stopping this car and I ain't finna check on you. I ain't finna go to jail. And guess what? The brother never made it, man. And guess what? In this day and time, that make brothers like yourself angry, right? And we have questions. Why? Why does this happen? Why does no other nation get these type of traumatic things? And then when we go to the justice system, they say not guilty. Oh, they innocent, brother. It is what it is. Well, the brother was a dope dealer 20 years ago. So that's probably why he got killed. He got judged for 20 years later. 
So why? Let's go back to the read verse 46 again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter. Matter of fact, let's make it easy. I'm gonna go to verse 45. Because the Lord gonna kind of tell you that he knew we was gonna ask these questions, bro. Right. Read, watch this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 45. Read. Read. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. And till thou be destroyed, destroyed. meaning what? Would that mean that the Israelites are gonna be extinct from the earth? How they say the lost tribes today? Oh, no. Meaning what? We're going to be mentally destroyed. We're going to have no idea who we were. That's right. We're going to have no idea for value. That's we're right. We're going to have no love for each other. That's you right. You know the definition of being destroyed? Bro, you see that man right there running right there. Now, there's just no disrespect. Say if I had that same outfit on and I just started running down the street shooting at people, chunking up gang signs, and I'm 58 years old. You know what you're going to say? There has to be a destroyed man to be 58 years old, walking down the street with a damn Iron Man suit on, rocking around like he got a gun face shooting at people. Or you know another destroyed thing? I have to be a destroyed man to sit here and see a, a disease killing my people. And I'm seeing people who took something to so-called help you with that, but you're still getting sick and die. I have to be a destroyed individual to still go and get this so-called sting that you're trying to give me. So That's now right. what is the Lord saying? Keep right. reading. I'm going to make it plain. Because that heart that is not. Yeah. Everything that we're going into today tie in with that. Because why everything that takes place on this world is all for the Israelites. All right, read. Because that heart that is not to the voice of the Lord thy God. Watch this. To keep his commandments. Because all these things happen because we're not keeping the commandments of the Lord. So everything that you see today, so you'll be like, bro, you mean to tell me that if a man get gunned down 10 minutes down the street from now, you want to know why? We're not keeping the commandments of the Lord. If a woman have a miscarriage and the baby dies on her right now, you know why that happened? We're not keeping the commandments of the Lord. Right. If the Lord cracked the sky right now and killed everybody on this street, do you know why we'll get put to death? We not keeping the commandments of the Lord. That's right, brother. That's right. So now, with them knowing that, finish reading it to finish it off. And his statutes, which he commanded thee. All right, verse 46. Verse, 40, this. verse 46. Now it's going into the two. Read. And that shall be upon thee for a sign. And then for, and for so one verses that he was just talking about in 45, he said that was going to be upon you for a sign and a wonder, meaning what? I'm going to put it, I ain't trying to be hood or ratchet, but I'm going to put it in black man tired of day. This is what the Lord is saying. When I blow your ass off, I'm going to leave you for a sign. You know what I'm saying? When I destitute you and push you out the house and have abortion clinics at an all-time high, disease at an all-time high in y'all right. cities, the Lord is saying, when you take a look back, damn, why my people got so much high disease in this? The Lord is saying, you gonna remember that you ain't keep my commandments. That's right. Guess what? When you go work your tail off, you go work a hundred hours in two weeks, and your check come back and you find out you think you finna get three bands, and Esau give you fifteen hundred to my his taxes for climate control for the military, and just to make sure this government thrive. What you gonna feel like? Damn! Why do I gotta work so hard to bring in very little? Because why the Lord said, why these things were going to be upon you for a sign and the wonder to remember that you didn't keep the commandments of God. That's and right. then now you should return to God. That's right. All right. So now I'm going to show you a couple of curses that happened so you can see them and you can see them playing today. Get verse 16. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Uh -huh. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So the Lord said, cursed shall thou be in the city, meaning what? Our city is all hell breaking loose, man. Give it root 4 and 32. Cursed in the city, why? In the city today, guess what? If the black man get gunned down today, how they gonna talk about it for two weeks, bro? Then guess what? After that, all it is what it is. Oh, the verdict gonna be not guilty. And you know another reason we cursed in the city, we last hire, first fire. If I go try to buy this building right here and start my own business, chances are my credit not good. And guess what? I ain't really got no resources that can help me. Guess what? If I do get it, guess how long it's gonna stay open? Man, give me a couple months, man. So my little lawn run out, I'm out of here. All right, the Lord said, that's a curse. Watch this, read. And cursed shall I be in the field. And the Lord said we were going to be cursed in the field, man. We were cursed in the sugar cane fields. That's right. The cotton fields, picking cotton 16, 18 hours out the day. Talk to him. This was going on a couple years ago on this same world. The same land, we walking up and down, celebrating, partying, entertaining these different festivals. This is the same land our ancestors 
worked hard abundance and the Lord said the fields that we were gonna be cursed in. Alright? Right. Keep reading on that. Curse shall die. Just so I can curse read strong, man. Curse shall be thy basket. He said curse should be thy basket. A basket is something we put food and resources in, right? So the Lord said the Israelites' basket was gonna be cursed, meaning what? It was always gonna be something wrong. Like today, if this was a black owned business, the Lord said within our community, you will always find something going on. Guess how many black men, I'm from Memphis. You know how many black club owners started their club, a successful club, flourishing, but what happens? Sin get involved. Oh, three shootings happen at your club. Now guess what? Your club getting shut down because it's a problem. Drugs. Guess what? Oh, one white girl overdosing your club. Oh, now they shutting your club down. You running the damn cocaine operation. That's but right. guess what? I can get gunned down in front of Hooters. You think they gonna shut Hooters they down? Okay. They ain't gonna shut Hooters okay. down. Why you wanna know why? That's theirs. If I go in Walmart and 50 black people get killed in Walmart, Yo, you think they gonna yeah. shut Walmart down? Uh -huh. You know what they gonna do? Man, they gonna give y'all ass 50% off off some damn Valentine. I love you cards. Get well card. They gonna give you a couple roses. Give me Jeremiah 15 and 5. Hey, big bro, I wanna ask you something real quick before y'all leave. Do you feel like the black man will ever get the love, respect, the equality, the freedom that he ever needs in America? No, we've been fighting for it, but it's still, they always show up. They still shit on us, right? So within that, what do you think we should do? Give me Revelation 18 and 4, then. Revelation 18 and 4. This Keep is what we should do. We pushing and fighting for it and don't give up on it. So well, I, all the fighting we've been doing, you know what we've been doing? We've been fighting the wrong fight, man, because That's guess right. what? The first fight is realizing where we lost from in the beginning. How did I lose the fight in the beginning? I just right. can't jump in a fight like, say, if I don't know y'all too, and y'all not here fighting, and I see her saying, oh my God, help. How do I gonna know which one she's telling me to help if I don't sit back and analyze first? Right. I just can't come out here, oh, they fighting. Right. I'm just finna start swinging, cause why they, oh, this dude, he crazy, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So why? This is what the Lord telling us. Read that, King. Just the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse four. This is what we gotta do, bro. All that fighting for these uh, equal rights and all that, it's over with, bro. I'm done praying for my love in America. I'm, I'm done praying for a business loan. I'm done praying for an $800 credit score. You know what I'm praying for? Dear Lord, please let 800 newts hit this country in 30 seconds. That's, That's right! right. That's right. Oh, wow. This country full of your blood, King. You will never prosper here, man. Read that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. Wow. Wow. And I heard another voice from heaven saying. He heard a voice from heaven, what? A black man from heaven is telling his voice, telling his people what? Come out of her, my people. And like what? That ye be not partakers of our sins. And that we be not partakers of our sins. What's the sins of America? They rape, rob, pillage, rape, rob, pillage, destroy the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We all walking down these streets today, but guess what? 80 years ago, I couldn't walk down this street. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? And if we did, if we was on this side of the street, you damn so better bet there wasn't no Negro on that side of the street. That's right. You wanna know why? Because this is the same land that we were slaves in. So you know what my message is to y'all today? It's time for us to lead the ways of America. Right. Let's lead the way that these people taught us and let's try something different. That's what right. we haven't tried in America is keeping God laws. That's coming back right. To God's laws as a right. People. That's right. I'm gonna show y'all one curse real quick that the Lord put on our people. And if he removed this curse, do you know how, man, it's only it way. You know what I want, Deuteronomy 28, 54. I'm going to show y'all something. Watch this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 54. Read. So that the man that is tender yeah, among you. You know what tender means? A brother that had that soft, genuine love for his people. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? If I see you, right, King, you over there turning the chains in the tire on the highway, it's 115 degrees. Bro, I don't give a damn if I got to be at work in 30 minutes and I'm 20 minutes away, but I wanted to get that early parking spot. If I got to love for my people, know what I'm going to do? Oh, hell no, it's hot as hell out here. Right, man. The brother ain't finna go out like that, I right, read. And very delicate. And very delicate. We had a once love one another, read. His eye shall be evil towards his brother. So you know what we need to do? The Lord said back then we had a strong love for one another, man, and what? If you had a daughter, and I seen your daughter acting kind of grown, right? You at work making sure she's straight. And I see her sneaking around the corner with a little mic mic. As a love for my brother, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna say it like, Tamika, get your little fast ass over here for your dad. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you stand over to your daddy get back. But you know what I'm gonna do today? Ah, little Mike might finna knock her down. 
I hear little bro, get this condom, man. Go ahead and your bed. Her daddy come around the corner, I'm gonna kill him. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? Your daughter, bro, your son or your wife can get robbed in front of your house by another black man, and I could be in my car across the street smoking. And guess what? If I see it, you know what I'm gonna say when you come across the street hurt. Hey, B, bro, I don't know nothing about none of that, bro. I don't do that snitching stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we at where we at right now because our love not real for one another, bro. It's nothing but fake love. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, what we out here doing, bro? We teaching our people to come back, to come back to their nationality, man. Yeah, bro. All right. So read that one more time. So, hey, kid. Hey, you got a card? You get a flyer? Um. Did I get one? Yeah. All right, all right, I'm gonna get him a flower real quick, bro. And I just want to share a couple more things with you, bro. Cause I like you, bro. You've been here a minute. Just a couple more things, cause I want to show you some real history. Get Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64, and then we're gonna go down to verse 68. The what? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. Well, I want to show you something. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So the reason why we come out here and you see us, bro, throughout different parts of the world, you see Johnny's Ante Kumpo. In Greece, looking just like you, jumping just like LeBron, bamming it. Why is it that we just alike with this brother? We search similar traits and similarities, but what? We just not in the same land. Why? Because the Lord scattered us throughout the four corners of the earth. Right. All right. Now jump, read. Keep reading. From the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And God said, in that land, in America, or in China, in Greece. In Russia, in France, we're gonna serve other gods, read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Uh-huh. Even wood. wood and stone. Even wood and stone. Bro, what was what was Jesus Christ is known for? What did they kill him on? A tree, but it symbolizes as a cross, right? So that wood, right? And what is Christianity big on? What they do before they go in the gap? They, they're doing a little cross symbol, right? Uh -huh. And what does the stone represent? The cobblestone. That's right. Think about how I many of our people that went all the way to Mecca to try to pray to the cobblestone. That's right. That's the right. Bible, the true book, King. That's right. All right. A couple more verses. Verse 68. Verse 68. All right, you get Hosea 61, and after that, I'm going to let you go by your day. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So, all right, so you remember what we were talking about, the Israelites going into slavery, right, in Egypt. They're being delivered out of Egypt. So Egypt and Israel is actually walking distance from each other because we walked out the first time. So if I walked out of here and I walked across the street, would I need a boat to do that? Would I need a boat to walk out this building to that building uh -huh. that's right there? So it'll mean that, that Egypt would have to be in another place far away for me if I have to need a boat, correct? Right. All right, so watch this, read that. But the way whereof I speak unto thee. Now read from the top, okay. yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So another word for Egypt is bondage. That's right. Slavery. The Lord said he was going to bring us back into slavery again with what? With, with what? Ships. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. All right, my bad for that. So this is the prophecy being fulfilled. The Lord said he was going to bring us back into slavery again with ships. Right. What nation of people led us on slave ships? Do you understand? Do you know? Yo, what people funded the transatlantic slave trade? The Jews. Hold on now, but wait a minute. How can I be telling you that you are a Jew, but now you're telling me the Jews funded the slave trade? Give me Revelation 3 and 9, King. It's, a, it's something going on there, right? So I'm going to show you what it is real quick, King. I right, read what you got. Uh, it's the book of Revelation, chapter 3. And verse 9, uh -huh. Behold, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. He said, I'm going to make them of the synagogue of Satan, meaning the house of the devil, the house of lies, which what? Which say they are Jews. Which say they are the Jews. Uh huh. And, and are not. And are not. All right. But do lie. But what? But, but do, do lie. lie. But they do lie. So what did they have to do if they started a lie? How do you have to keep a lie going? You gotta keep telling more lies. That's right. So what was the first lie? Oh, we are the Jews. But wait a minute, the Jews were black and this and that. So oh now, if we don't do something to these people, people gonna find out that we are not the real Jews, but they are. So what did they do? When they seen we was brought off into slavery, they funded it. And guess what they do today? You know, uh, running the, the sports industry, the music industry, 
the uh the acting industry TV. all those the tv world period the rockefeller family the jewish people they the ones run america man why do you think trump blessed and named the capital in israel jerusalem they understand what's going on brother but we don't so you have to understand that what the lord said we were going to go into slavery again with ship and they read the end of that by the way we're up I'm speaking to thee, thou Let shalt see it no, no more, more again. again. So the Lord said, thou shalt see it no more again. So the reason why in this day and time, bro, we almost there. Give me uh, Jeremiah 22 and 10, and you can go back to Hosea 6 and 1, and this is our promise. The reason why in today's time, we still in the land that we were slaves to, because you got to understand something, it's something that the Lord has to do. The first thing he had to do is show us that we were wicked as hell, right. and we have to come back to his law, statutes, and commandments. But the second thing is, he's on a mission to show the whole world there is no other God but the Most High God. That's right. And how is he gonna do that? By destroying one of the world's most dominant nations that were ever created. Read what you got, King. Yeah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 22, verse 10. So we know. Yeah. But the things that's about to take place, all the devil, the destruction, watch this. This is what the Lord said. We ye not for the dead. So the Lord said, you're gonna see dead dropping left and right. Don't be weeping for the dead, right? Read. Neither be owned uh -huh. him, but weep sore for him that goeth away. For he shall return, shall return no more, nor see his native country. So the Lord said we should be weeping because why? Keep it going. Jesus is the Lord of the Israelites. That's right. So guess what? He said we should weep the man that will never leave and come back to his native country. Why? Because to this day, brother, we know that we have no idea what our homeland actually looked like. What it feel like to drink water from our homeland? We have no idea. So knowing we destroy it like this and all this madness is going on today, what is the mess that we are telling our people? Give me that Hosea 6 and 1. This, this is the Hosea chapter 6 verse 1. Go! 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 And let us return unto the Lord. What the Bible say? Go! And let us return unto the Lord. So the Bible say even though we have been destroyed, we've been put on slave ship, we've been wiped away from our homeland, He destroyed us as a race to the nation of people. He brought us into slavery on slave ships. We bugged out. In 2021, we feel like I'm a real nigga, but I'm not a man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a gang member. I'm not a brother to this man. He's my opposition. I'm a rapper about putting him in my swisher and smoking him. Why? Because I only really got self-hatred for myself. So what the Lord say? Come and let us return back to him. And we're returning back to him. Where are we returning? The true love that we have for one another, right? That's right. right. I keep reading on this. God, he has smitten and he, he has smitten us with madness, bro. Right. We'll see on the cigarette pack. It said we smoke it, it's gonna kill us. But what? I can't put the cigarette down. That's right. We know if we sit here and have sex with multiple women, we'll all protect the sex. We gonna catch some. But you know, we say. I just can't go without it, man. Hey, man, come on, bro. I can't be the only man out here doing it without getting no woman. All right, read. And uh, just and he will bind us up. After two days, will will um, will he re revive us? So guess what? In this day and time, he's reviving us now. That's why you seeing Israelites come out here, and we're teaching our people to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, and repent. So, bro, hey, I ain't gonna hate you out here too long. I can tell you, you you ready, bro. I don't get out here. You've been here a little minute. But, bro, trust and believe when I tell you, bro, there's plenty more knowledge to be learned, to be learned, and for you to be taught. There is plenty more understandings that you need to know because guess what? The Lord has considered you a watchman. He ordained you a prophet in the beginning, bro. Right. So, it ain't no prophet in you just knowing this, sitting back, observing. Now, nah, bro, you need to be watching the news outlets, looking at everything going on in these countries, getting the breakdown of seeing what these nations are doing about this vaccine, seeing what they're doing with world wars, looking at all the earthquakes, the famines, because destruction is coming here. But who would we be if we didn't warn you, bro? How today it is all good and everybody walking around looking like goddamn shroomed out actors. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be a day when, bro, destruction gonna pop off here, all hell gonna break loose. That's, That's right. right. And you think the Lord gonna hear my prayer if he sent me and I heard to warn me, but I, oh, you, you, I'll be back, bro, I'll be back, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? And I ain't want to hear you. Know what he gonna say? Nah, bro. I don't want to hear it now. So, hey, King. Hey, man. Appreciate, appreciate you, bro. It, we be out here every week at three o'clock, man. Okay. Hey, come feel, King. Y'all be easy. Hey, why you ready? Hey, man. So with that, man. Hey, I'll pray to the Most High for the hey. Brutal for teaching and the brothers, hey, right. take heed to the word, man. We got one more big hit on deck, man. Hey, pour me out some rock. Pour me out some rock.